I made a video months ago saying that the Yonko were not gods. And obviously I meant it. Obviously it's the case. I mean, because Yonko is based on portrayal, perception, whatever you want to call it in the community. In One Piece in general, they had this godly reputation that no matter what, nothing could ever harm a Yonko. Not an admiral, not a command, nothing could bring harm to a Yonko. Except when other random things happen to them. At the end of the day, most of these, these strong people, they are, I was about to say they're human, but they're fucking not. Um, they, they have emotions. They have emotions, right? And when you can affect these emotions, you can affect these people. How important will is in one piece. I don't think that's something that's talked about enough. Will and your mental state. And when you're in a good mental space, you can perform better than you ever will. will. Better than you ever will. For Kaido, when Odin is involved, his mental space is affected. He is not all the way there. Or rather, things that transpired in the past in regards to Odin, it still affects him to this day. And it's no surprise here that the scabbards coming in all together, basically chanting Snatch, embodying the will of Odin, of course is going to affect Kaido. I didn't think they were going to pierce him though. I'm not going to lie. It was like, okay, it was a great frontal assault. Izo disarmed King. Everybody else is handled. And then they go and stab Kaido. For me, it was like, okay, Kaido was underestimating just how much will they had behind them. But I didn't, I don't think Kaido knew just how much of an impact Odin had on him, how much it affected his physical state as much as his mental state. And now we are seeing the bridge between mentally where you are and physically where you are. And I think I like when things like this happen because it makes you think back to previous things in the story. And for instance, Luffy, how he was affected mentally when Ace died. And now for Big Mom, how she's affected with Mother Carmel. And now for Kaido, how he's severely impacted by Odin. But let's talk about some more things before we talk about Kaido because there are a few more things I want to touch on. Alti, she's here. I love her. I love her a lot. And she's back. She's back in action. And she went straight after Yamato. And for Alti, I think she reminds me so much of Luffy, how innocent she is and how, but she's really simple and she gets straight to the point. She's blunt. That's what it is. She's really blunt. And for Yamato saying, okay, now is the time I will become Odin. And Alti's response was like, are you an idiot? Because when you think about it, Alti's been doing this ever since she's been introduced. She talked about Kaido as far as Kaido having his mental issues in regards to um, Odin and Yamato. Well, Yamato specifically. And she's like, well, is Kaido an idiot? Like, what is Kaido thinking? Why are we always summoned when it comes to this specific issue? Alti always says it like it is. Even when Kaido's talking about the announcement, how Kaido's being a bit cheeky, she's like, Kaido, this is not like you. Like, why don't you just come out and say it? Right? So for Alti, she's a breath of fresh air in which she says things that a lot of us sometimes when we're reading, we're thinking. So for me, when, when Yamato said that, like, oh, now is the time for me to become Odin Kazuki. I'm like, Yamato. And then Alti's like, are you an idiot? I'm like, that's, that's it. She, she must be an idiot. I also like the fact that Big Mom in this chapter, she's more upset that Luffy's here. The mere fact that Luffy's present in Onigashima is upsetting Big Mom more than Kaido getting impaled or somewhat bodied by the scabbards. Bodied is very hyperbole, so I'm, don't take that person. I'm just saying, from Big Mom's perspective, Kaido being just attacked, <laughs> right? A whole, an entire frontal assault by the scabbards. She's like, Kaido, what? Are you dead, bro? Like, what's up? Are you dead already? For Big Mom, of course, she's not going to think Kaido is dead or affected. She gave Kaido's praises in Whole Cake Island. When she said, for Kaido, you think you're going to kill that thing? Okay, good luck. And at some point, maybe tomorrow or Saturday, rather, we're going to talk about Kaido's mythos because I think now people are starting to question some things that happened with him, but I think everything is aligned. Everything can be justified. Everything does make sense. I know it looks crazy, but based on things that's happened previously in the story, this makes sense. It doesn't matter how much you've had Kaido up here. It makes sense. And we'll talk about that. But anyway, Big Mom, I, I enjoyed her whole demeanor. That's the entire reason why she came to Wano. Luffy. So now Luffy being right in front of her, she's not going to let this opportunity pass her by. She's not going to be who's who. Right? Who's who saw someone. She saw Luffy and all the supernova. They're fighting. Oh, uh, Oh, no, nah, I'm I'm worried about Yamato because who's who? It seems like he wants to challenge the queen and become a calamity. But the smoke was right there. Who's who? The smoke was right there. Instead, he chose to I, I, honestly, I don't know where the hell who's who went because everything was blowing up. Zoro cutting shit. Luffy blowing shit up. A poo exploding sound. And who's who? When the last chapter was like, oh, oh, that's where the fighting is. So I honestly don't feel sorry for him at all. But I get it. All this point or the point was to remove who's who because he's going to be more important later in the arc. So you have to remove him at this point. Because you can't have him fighting, showing off everything. You know what it is in One Piece, right? I, I enjoyed this moment with Luffy. I'm not going to lie. Big Mom says Straw Hat. 
I've come a long way just to kill you. Then she said, why, why did you come here? You're not going to say something crazy like you came to kill Kaido, right? And Luffy says, you're right. And everybody's reaction was perfect because they were like, huh? Straw hat? What, what are you talking about? I, I thought you were here to kill, what? And while I was reading, of course, rest assured, I was like, yeah, I mean, he means everyone. So he went down the list, commanders, Kaido, Big Mom. He's here to beat everyone's ass. It's an all-out war. Of course, it seems a bit like Oda's trying to play it up, play up the war and say, yo, it's going to be an all-out war. And there are things in this chapter that indicated that's where it's going. It's going to turn into a free-for-all like I've been saying for the longest. So we all remember when Marco said there was something he was going to investigate. And there, we all speculated, well, more than likely it was Pero Spero, but we were hoping for somebody else. Well, it seems like it was Pero Spero. But in this chapter, Pero Spero and Marco, they're actually together. Marco's already confronted Pero Spero, but there's been no fighting. They're actually conspiring together because remember Pero Spero, he wants to sabotage this alliance. He's not for this alliance at all. So hey, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And in Pedro Sparrow's case, he cares more about messing up the alliance than defeating Marco or doing anything to Marco, which personally, I don't think he could anyway, but he cares about that more, which makes sense. Pedro Sparrow, he's loyal to the Big Mom Pirates, so this route is not surprising. There are also some other small things going on there. I saw a law with someone. Someone was in the panel with him. Not sure who it is. I have an idea of who I think it could be. You guys can let me know who you think it is. Because if it's not him, who else could it be? I mean, that's just my speculation. Let me know who you think it is. Because I think we, we all could come to the same conclusion. My takeaway from this chapter is though, it's starting. It has started. I, I Personally, I didn't expect it to start this soon. There are a bunch of players in this that we haven't seen in a while, specifically Sanji and also Black Maria. So I wonder when is Oda gonna cut away from all the stuff that you know is really exciting right now to show us what's going on with Sanji and also Black Maria because I'm assuming Black Maria, she's gone back to the pleasure quarter. And Sanji from the last we know, he was at the pleasure quarter. Nami and Carrot, they've escaped. Nami's using black balls again. You know, take that for what it's worth. She used the attack electric cloud road and that blacked the cloud. So yeah, Nami's going in with these black balls, man. It seems like these black balls for Nami, they're kind of overpowered. Like she can remove or take a Yonko's power for herself with these black balls. Insane. But yeah, the war has started. Kaido and everything going on with him has culminated to this point. I like how they showed the Odin flashback and everything the scabbers have inherited from Odin because that's the main reason why all this went down. Kaido getting impaled wasn't necessarily just because of the scabbers' strength, but also because of what Kaido went through in the past with Odin. Odin has had a lasting impact on Kaido and I don't think he's going to shake that anytime soon. Guys, if, if we want to power scale this, there's so much to factor in that we just can't with this like this is just something that happens because of all the turmoil all the confrontations the speeches the hour of legend all this would not be possible without that so i know sometimes people downplay the odin backstory the odin flashback but i think it was key for moments like this to make sense and for us to appreciate moments like this and i know 987 a lot of people were saying that was the chapter in which you were supposed to cry well the chapter that you were supposed to cry was was 986 not saying that it wasn't emotional but the editor, they cried in 986. Now, I worded that wrong because I'm saying the chapter you were supposed to cry. No, that's the chapter the editor cried. So therefore, that's the chapter that a lot of people perceive that they would, you know, feel emotional as well. It made me emotional. You know, I'm not sure about y'all. It made me emotional. So if y'all didn't cry, that's on y'all. Y'all missed y'all opportunity to cry. Because I cried. It was a good chapter though. It's getting to the point where we're just waiting for just things to just go crazy where all the players here i'm wondering where king is we saw queen his expressions hilarious where's jack a lot of people are talking about speculations in regards to the minx and if they're gonna fight jack anymore well nekamushi he's about to go too long for him and so I i'm excited to see that actually because i think nekamushi he has been rising up the ranks in regards to one of my favorites in wano so i'm really excited for his too long form i'm not gonna lie it was a surprise it was really a shocker that they were able to hurt kaido based on how he's been built up but there is an explanation for that i've talked about this i've mentioned this kaido is going through a metamorphosis he's changed from the kaido that we saw in the flashback and so I think mentally things that Kaido has gone through and how Kaido has changed, it hasn't been as highlighted in regards to the things that we focus on, but I think it's all there. Oda has shown us different things to kind of speculate that Kaido, he's changed and there are things going on with him. There are things wrong with him, things he can't even explain. I mean, one of those hints was that he's drunk all the time. Even in this chapter, he said it's worn off. So for Kaido drinking all the time, trying to numb yourself, what is that telling us about this man? 
or this thing. There's something going on. So um, I respect him though for saying, yo, I'm going to show you the world's strongest power, which, you know, I thought somebody else had that. But for Kaido, hey, it looks like he was healed by the end of this chapter. So it might just be that devastating. But guys, give me your thoughts. How do you feel about it? What are your thoughts on this chapter? Of course, I really can't wait for the official because there are things I really want to get deep into. But, but we're going to talk about Kaido's mythos because there are things that we kind of have to clear up and bring some shed some light on because i think the perception of what kaido was supposed to be has kind of jarred some people's expectations for this chapter or for kaido in general when you know something i've covered on the channel before is perception versus reality and that was more so focused on whitebeard and shanks maybe this chapter or this next installment of perception versus reality we'll talk about kaido because there's a lot going on there that's our perception but I'm not quite sure if that's the reality. Y'all, that weird ass sound, it was not what you think it is, all right? That's my Twitch notifications. That is not what y'all think it is. I, I, I'm editing it now and, and I heard it and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just let him know those are my Twitch notifications. It's not what you think it is. Anyway, go follow me on Twitch. But yeah, give me your thoughts. Make sure to like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Follow me on Twitter at BragoDAce. Follow me on Instagram at BragoD.Ace. Thank you to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys support me and go out of your way to do it. So with that, I am truly grateful. Join the Discord if you want information in regards to when the chapter is going to be released. If it comes out early, if it's going to be late. It's all in the Discord. People talk about the Discord being cancer. Yes, there's some cancerous places in Discord, but you don't have to be there. You can be in some really great discussions in which after you're done with this video, the discussion doesn't have to end. There are other people in the Discord that are truly excited about One Piece that just want to talk about it all the time. You can be one of those people. Just join a Discord. It is free. There are different channels for different anime. If you don't want to talk, you can just text. It's all great. So join the Discord. Link is in the description down below. Thank you guys again so much. I appreciate the support, all the positive comments. You guys truly don't understand just how much that has a positive impact on me because it, it just makes me or shows me that you guys really you know care about the content that i put out and it makes me want to put out more so thank you so much thank you guys for supporting the skits as well i may have a good idea for the next one but yeah thank you guys again but i'll catch you in the next one oh don't forget to like and subscribe peace